I'm being bombarded by kids clothes. They keep growing. I keep having all these hand-me-downs. I don't know what to do with. They keep outgrowing things. I don't have a system. What can I do on a low budget that's easy to maintain and easy to keep up with? Guess what? This is the video for you. Hi, I'm Sarah here at Work Life Glue. I love kids clothes. I have a slight addiction to kids clothes and buying them very cheaply, which means sometimes I amass way too much. I am the mom to three little girls, ages five, three, and four months old. And so hand-me-downs are definitely something I have had to come up with a system for. And I have really perfected my kids clothes system to make it easy to maintain, easy for my kids to put away, easy to switch out as they grow up and to just have it neat and tidy and orderly in a way that's super simple, super easy, and super budget friendly. And many other women here on YouTube are joining me for a clutter-free January that Dawn from The Minimal Mom created, this collaboration that we're all participating in where we're talking about a different area of our home every week in January. Last week we did kitchens and I talked about decluttering my pantry. I will have a link to that video below. And this week we were all talking about clothes. and. I am gonna be talking about kids clothes because I feel like it's something I have really gotten the handle for, especially since I have three girls. Like I have the hand-me-down system figured out really well since I want our clothes to last. Even though I thrift most of them, I want them to last through all three kids. So make sure you head to the playlist after you watch this video. I will have it in the description. You can watch the other ladies in this collaboration and see what other tips and ideas and motivation and inspiration you can gain from them. So let's just get started with tips and ideas for organizing and decluttering kids clothes. So I am actually in the process of moving all of our bedrooms around in our house. So pretty soon all three of our girls will have their own room as well as us. So this system won't be exactly the same, but the components of it and the idea behind it will remain the same. So everything I'm sharing will be transferred. But right now I have two little girls who share this closet, my two oldest, and so I have it set up really easily and my very first tip is to have a system that's easy to maintain. So what I mean by this, make sure it's easy for your kids to put stuff away, make sure it, everything has a place, make sure it's clutter free and make sure you know it's something that you enjoy using every day that your kids can figure out where everything goes. For us, we do hang a lot of clothes because I just find it really easy to find, especially, I don't know about you, but with girls, and I know some boys too, but with girls, they know exactly what they want to wear and I want it to be easy to find and they can see everything. Like they know what all these clothes are. So I have my older daughter's clothes over here and my younger daughter's clothes over here. And I just organize them by type. So I've got like tank tops, then short sleeve, then long sleeve, then short sleeve dresses, long sleeve dresses, and then like cardigans and jackets. So it's super easy to put stuff away. It's super easy to find everything. And then as far as their other clothing, that's just like their tops and dresses. Everything else goes in this dresser and they really only use these top three. These three are for my older daughter and these three are for my younger daughter and they are pretty much the exact same. So for underwear, socks, and they have dance, so they have all their dance stuff and undershirts, I just use these really simple IKEA containers that go really well with this Hemnes dresser, and we just pop them in here, nothing fancy. For pajamas, I do fold them just for ease of putting them away, but they get all jumbled up in here, and it's no big deal because I can't keep stuff folded for little kids, and... If you can, great, but I am totally all for just shoving stuff in and that way they can find what they need. You're not getting upset about it getting all jumbled up and it's not a big deal. It's in a drawer. Nobody's seeing it. Same thing for pants. This is about as organized as it ever gets. They rifle through, find what they need. Here we have leggings. Here we have jeans, tights, and skirts. Super simple, super easy. And then the bottom drawer is just like little trinkets, swimsuits, and some dance and LOL doll pamphlets that my older daughter likes to keep and then it's a super simple and easy thing so because it's the same on both sides if I ask my older daughter to grab something for my younger daughter she knows exactly where to find it because it's in the exact same spot as her drawers so socks underwear dance stuff pajamas leggings jeans tights and skirts very simple very easy they can just rifle through if it gets all messed up i do not care that's expected and it helps so that they can put it away and i'm not expecting perfection and they can find everything without me getting upset about it getting messed up 
And then if you are new to my channel, you may not know about this tip, but I talk about this all the time. I have weekly prep videos every week where I share what I do on the weekends to prepare for the week, to balance fun and function every weekend. And almost every weekend we pick out our bigger girls clothes on Sundays so that we avoid fighting. That is a huge tip of mine. If you guys are fighting every morning about what to wear, have your child pick it out ahead of time. Really talk about how we're not switching it, how you're picking it out today, and it's non-negotiable and follow through. So this has helped save us so much sanity in the morning. Every Sunday we pick out clothes, we put them in here. It's um, by the days of the week, so you're also helping them learn the days of the week. My oldest daughter is very good. She just takes all the clothes out in the morning, lays it out for her little sister, gets herself dressed, and then her little sister doesn't even see these clothes, so we're not having fights, and it has been a game changer for us. So I would definitely recommend picking your clothes out for the whole week, or if not, at least the night before, so you're avoiding any meltdowns, any power struggles in the morning. Okay, so we've got our everyday system down, it's going well, but your kid keeps outgrowing clothes. And maybe they're kind of in between sizes where half of their clothes fit and you're trying to get them through a season, but some of their clothes don't quite fit and you need to like exchange them for a bigger size. What do we do about that? Well, for me, I just have a very simple dollar store bin in here where I put all of my three-year-old's outgrown clothes. She's the one who's really growing fast right now and so, I put any clothes she's outgrowing here. I will also throw on my older daughter's clothes because it's obvious whose are whose. And then once it gets really full or once they've fully outgrown the clothes, then I will go through and do my whole system, which I'll talk about in a second, for hand-me-downs and switching out clothing. So I usually wait until they're completely grown out before I do this, but it really depends on the rate your child's growing. Um, if you have to bring in a few of a different size, then just hold on to it in a place like this before you completely make the transition or just transition before they've completely outgrown it and the clothes will be a little too big. It's really up to you to decide, but I usually wait until they're very close to all the clothes not fitting and then I will switch out the whole thing and I will do my whole hand-me-down process. Okay, so how do hand-me-downs work in my house? I used to store hand-me-downs in the basement and it was this huge ordeal to bring it up, to pull it out, to pack it all up, bring it back down, and I hated it. I know that sounds dumb, but I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. So what I have is a basically a self transitioning system, if that makes sense, and I don't ever have to really leave their rooms, which is great. So. What I have is, as you can see up here, I have these Dollar Tree bags. They are the vacuum seal bags. And that's where I put everything my oldest daughter outgrows. So once my oldest daughter outgrows this stuff, I will take it all out. She's in 5T right now. I will take all the 5T, I will bundle it up, I will put it in, probably it'll fit in two of those bags. I will vacuum seal them and then I'll put them up here for my three-year-old for when she fits that size. And then what I do is these two bins right here are for my oldest daughter, the clothes she's going to grow into. So these are all six and six X. And so I put all of those, I buy them ahead of time because you never know when your kid is going to grow into that size. And I actually thrift a ton of my kids' clothes so I will have a video, I will have any videos that I have posted about tips for that in the description for you guys. But I keep all of them right here so it's super simple. Then I will pull out her clothes that she now fits into because all these hangers will be empty because they'll all have been vacuum sealed. And then those will be empty and ready for her next size for me to shop for. And then I will shop clearance and thrift sales and stuff like that for her next size. Then when my younger daughter outgrows her 3T, I will bundle all that up, vacuum seal it. It will go in the closet of my baby so it's ready for her when she grows into it. And then I can grab the 4T bag from up here, pull it down, and put it in her closet. So it's super simple, in and out. I don't have to leave upstairs. And it's just keeping it in their closet, super easy to maintain. There's a limit, because if it can't fit up here, we have too much clothes and we need to get rid of some. But it just works really well. It's like move this to here, move that to there, then when she grows into it, it goes here, and when she outgrows it, it goes to the baby, and then when the baby outgrows it, it goes and gets thrifted, because we're not planning on having any more biological children 
or any children in the future that we are foreseeing. So we're just gonna get rid of it so we don't have to hang on to it anymore. But this system has been such a game changer. It makes me no longer procrastinate on changing out their clothes. It's super simple to know what they have. If I have to quick check what my daughter has in her six and six X sizes, I can to see like what patterns and stuff if I'm about to go shopping. It's just right there, easy to access. And when it's time to change out clothes, it's a very well-oiled machine and it doesn't take much thought and it doesn't take much work, which is what I'm all about as a mom. Low stress, low work solutions for the lazy slash busy mom. Another tip is when you are transitioning out the clothes to hand-me-down status, when they're kind of in the in-between, when nobody's wearing them, but they're waiting for a child to grow into them, make sure you do not keep clothes that didn't get worn, that nobody liked. If your oldest child didn't like it, then chances are your younger child won't either. If it's ripped, if it's worn, get rid of it, don't hang on to it. I really had to go through a lot of our hand-me-down clothes. I did that a while back. I will link to that video. I went through all of them because they were taking up so much space and I was trying to get them to fit into the system and we were holding on to so much clothes that nobody liked, nobody wore, that had stains on them. And so just get rid of it if nobody's wearing it. You can always replace kid clothes super cheaply, super easily. If nobody wore it, if nobody liked it, get rid of it. Another great idea is to keep an inventory. So even though I have all of my oldest daughter's next size up in the closet to easily go through, I often forget what's actually in there and I don't want to have to go through it all the time. So I made an inventory and I have all this in my on my website in my shop for just a few dollars. If you guys are interested, it goes through, you know, ideas for what to have for each season for babies, boys, girls, and then it also has inventories and you can print as many as you need for each child and then a shopping list. So I just keep um, a tally of what my oldest daughter currently has, what she needs, what size, and then I also just took anything that she needs and put it on a shopping list and I can cut this out and put it in my wallet for when we do go shopping. It makes it really easy so I'm not over buying because I do love kids clothes. I don't actually normally change out my clothes for the seasons. I usually just leave them in the drawers, but I did have one of my children who would cry and cry and have a big fuss every single day that she couldn't wear a tank top and shorts in the middle of winter. So we did pack those up. So Definitely recommend if it's causing you stress, put it away or find a way to make it less stressful, keep it out of reach, keep it out of sight where they can't see it. If it's not appropriate for a certain day or a certain season, get it out of there if it's causing any drama. And then here in the nursery, it currently is our middle daughter's room, but it was is soon going to be our baby's room. We keep all of her clothes. So I thought I'd just quick walk you through how I store the baby's clothes to make it really simple and easy. I have very much the same system, but just a little bit different because she grows so fast. So I keep two to three different sizes of clothes in here at one time, just to make it easy on myself because I have the space. So because when she was a baby, I had newborn, I had zero to three month, and then I had three to six month all in here at once. So if she quickly outgrew a size, which she does very quickly, I didn't have to like do the whole ordeal of getting stuff out and washing it and all that kind of stuff. I could just go to the next size, pack up all the old stuff, donate it. So now she fits in three to six months. So I have three to six month clothes and I have six to nine month clothes because, you know, her clothes are a little bit bigger and we have, you know, like outdoor outfits and swimsuits in here now. And I've been collecting a few for different holidays. So I would definitely recommend for babies to have a few sizes ready because they grow so fast. And then as far as her other stuff, it's really simple. This is where I keep her stuff she has outgrown that I will donate once we get to that point. Here are her three to six month bottoms. I just use Dollar Tree bins for this. I have done this since my oldest was a baby and I've just found this is the simplest solution. So I just throw them in here, very easy to get in and out. I keep onesies in here, the white onesies, and then I have her six to nine month bottoms and onesies in here. And then I just stack two of these plastic drawer containers and this is where I keep pajamas. So three to six month pajamas. Since she's wearing these, these are actually in our bedroom because she's still sleeping in our bedroom, but I have another sleep sack, a couple sleep sacks in here for her if she ends up needing those. Six to nine month pajamas, just throw them in there. I don't fold them. 
and then any extra sleep sacks I keep in there. And then I do have baby shoes in here for when she starts wearing shoes so they're easy to find. I don't have to go to the basement. And then I just keep some extra bags for our girls in here for like when they go on sleepovers because I do keep their luggage and stuff in here. And then up above, that is where I'm keeping her outfits that I want to save. I'm being very ruthless about what I'm saving. I just have four of her newborn outfits that all three of my daughters wore that will go into storage, like a keepsake box when I get that filled up. And then I have their backpacks. They each have a Skip Hop backpack and some little toiletry bags that I keep up here since she has a lot of extra space in her closet. And then I have, like I said, the system. Now we had some clothes that kind of got mixed up of where they were being kept. So I just shoved them up there for when I do open a bag, I'll look at that. And there's a few different sizes in there of some random clothes that got left behind when I was doing the transitioning, probably cause they were in the wash and I forgot about them. So I have all of the clothes basically. So she's got three to six months, six to nine months. Then I have nine to 12 months, 12 to 18 months, 18 to 24 months, and then 2T all in here. And then 3T is in my other daughter's closet and the bigger sizes are in there as well. So once she gets outgrows all of these clothes, they will all get donated besides maybe a couple that I'm going to keep. I will bring down the next two sizes, put it in here and so on and so forth and then when my middle daughter outgrows stuff it'll come into this closet in the vacuum seal bags it works really well i hope this video was helpful and gave you a few ideas of how to make your kids clothes easy to maintain easy to put away easy to transition out when they are growing into a new size and easy to maintain hand-me-downs this system has worked for the last couple years and has been so wonderful for our family, especially having three of the same gender children. It's very easy to keep the clothes coming and going and it's not a lot of stress. And I don't have to be a minimalist about it and I can still be simple and make it easy for myself and for my kids. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you go check out the other videos in the playlist of other YouTubers who are joining in on this collaboration. If you liked what you saw here and wanna see more, tips and tricks for busy moms. Make sure you subscribe. I would love to have you as part of our glue stick family. And I also have a podcast called Work Life Glue where I talk about a lot of the same things. So I would love if you would subscribe to that as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.